I wonder how many of you out there are like me. <laughs> okay, I love some things in my life. One of them is I love competition. If you stop and think about it, my whole life, I wanted to try and beat somebody in something. You got football and the NFL and all those years. You've got racing. I love golf. And back in my early years, I was playing racquetball. The second thing you can definitely say for me is I love my family. I got Pat, don't deserve her. I got two great kids, love working with them. And I got grandkids now, which is really awesome. I was uh, looking in, in Isaiah, the 41st chapter. Basically what it says there, see they are all foolish things, worthless things. All your idols are as empty as the wind. Basically what he was saying, is there anything that you worship that gets in the place of your relationship with the Lord? Do we really keep him number one? I, I don't want anything to stand between me and the Lord. I want to be storing up my treasures in heaven, knowing that I'm going to get to spend eternity with God. I need to hold this race team loosely, not worship it, not say, hey, I can't do without it. I need to hold those things, worldly things, loosely. And don't let them get between me and my relationship with the Lord. Another little thing that jumped out at me, one of my favorite pictures at home, is I'm walking out the boardwalk going to our boat. And Jackson, my grandson at that point, was just four years old. And he was holding my hand. In Isaiah, the 41st chapter, really God says this, the Lord will hold thy right hand. And I find myself many times now at night as I get ready to go to bed, just kind of reaching out and grabbing God's hand, knowing that he's gonna walk through 2014 with me. We got a loving God that's our father, just like I care about Jackson and my kids and grandkids. So that's my goal for 2014. I hope that helps you. We do have some things here that I think can help you going forward. I want to kind of mention those in closing. One of them is a little track that we can give you. If you just contact us uh, at gameplanforlife.com, we can send you these little tracks free. We also obviously uh, have our book. Uh, game plan for life and hopefully you can go um, to the website and find out where you can get the book this is the key for game plan for life for us it has 11 topics in here where we have experts writing what God has to say about those 11 topics we have chalk talks okay which is also gives you uh, um, uh, some little ways to kind of start out your day or end your day with chalk talks which I think uh, you might enjoy we also have our Game Plan for Life Bible that we just finished from Zondervan. You can, get, you can go to the website, find out where you can get that. And of course, we have our Game Plan for Life, okay, which is our small group study. All those materials are for you. And then, of course, one of the things we think is the key to our ministry, go to GamePlanForLife.com and we can give you this little free New Testament study Bible. It's done on Game Plan for Life and in here, there's 14 little topics that takes you on a study through the New Testament, and that's free for you also. So all those materials hopefully can help you as uh, you're kind of getting your game plan ready for 2014. And I hope this uh, little inspirational talk, uh, as I spoke to myself, okay, can also help you as we get ready for, for one of the greatest years of our life.